Hey everybody. So I've got uh, a very interesting thing to show you here and I want to thank I want to thank Lakshmi Devi Costello. I don't know if I said that completely right, but I wanted to give you thanks for this. Uh, so you know folks, when we're told not to go and explore and look at other things, there's usually a reason why when you start doing digging and you start becoming an investigator and you start looking around and this is one of the things I've been trying to show for a long time now and that is that we're a lot closer than we think with all of these other religions and so forth you know think about all the wars that we have and everything and uh, they're all based a lot of them are based on religious reasons but no one ever wants to take the time to find the common truths among all of these different religions. They just want to, you know, throw the whole, my religion is better than yours, yours is the false religion, mine's the true religion. But, you know, nobody wants to play investigator. And I don't know why this has not actually been pushed out into the public already. But we're about to do it right now. So this is uh, multifaceted Vedic Hinduism. I will leave a link in the description area. Dr. M. G. Prasad, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. As you scroll down this thing, you have a very interesting image that he shows as he digs into the mystery of the human being, and he shows a Hindu temple right down here. This one that we see right here. By now you should have quite a uh, familiar look when you see this particular type of structure with the human body laid inside it. Let me show you if you don't. That's right. And it lines up perfectly. Same as Solomon's temple. And this is Hindu temple design. So you'd think that there's a reason why they have hidden all this for so long. You know, they don't want people to go out and take a look at other things. They just want them to, uh, you know, do what the church says to do. Don't go explore. Don't go look. You know, devil's going to get you if you do. And with a little bit of exploration and a little bit of digging into Solomon's temple and understanding what it means, now we can see that there's a common thing among what we see here in Hindu temple design and the Solomon's temple design. As you can see clearly what we have right here is a matchup to the design even down to the altar of sacrifice the uh, footrest the platform that the feet are on and uh, and of course if we turn Solomon's temple or even if we take a look at the uh, ancient Egyptian uh, judgment hall of Osiris we have the same thing with the platform on the head uh, underneath the head right here and this following the curvature of the spine all the way down. Reading what he has to say about it real quick. It says, A Hindu temple is a divine and yogic representation of a human being with a deity in the temple representing the God as indweller in humans and all beings. And it's the same design, basically. Same phi design and everything as we see in Solomon's Temple. That we see in the Temple of Luxor. That we see actually on the land in Egypt. That we see on the Vatican's St. Peter's Square. As we see in Rothschild's Castle. As we see in so many different places. And yet, because we have allowed other people to do interpretations for us and turn everything into a literal meaning, we've lost the ability to use our own minds and interpret these texts the way they're supposed to be, and that is esoterically and not literally. And this is prime example right here. Same thing. And this is Hindu. This is Vedic. I'll leave a... Uh, I'll leave a link in the description area. Once again, I want to uh, I want to thank that person on Facebook for giving me this information. Uh, you know, it kind of makes you sick of your stomach after a while when you think all this time that uh, all somebody had to do was go out and put this two and two together and uh, and see it.
and then just show it to people. That's all we had to do. And all this fighting back and forth could have been saved a little bit. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon.